Hello everyone, today's topic is how to generate appointment letters using Google Sheets and Google Docs. So I am an HR and I want to automate this process of onboarding of candidates. For that, I automatically want to generate appointment letters for all my candidates. So here my objective is that whenever in my Google Sheet, I'm going to add the details of my candidate and by using this candidate details, I'm going to create a new appointment letter by using my templates that I have in my Google Docs. So after creating this appointment letter, I'm going to make that file shareable and I'm going to get the PDF link of that file by using Google Drive. So for that, I have to build a simple connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs and Google Drive. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use Trigger and Actions. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Google Sheets. In Action application, first I'm going to use Google Docs and then I'm going to use Google Drive. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can automate employee onboarding. So we are going to generate appointment letters automatically by using Google Sheets and Google Docs. So I'm an HR and the biggest difficulty and the most time consuming task is onboarding and creating new appointment letters for all the candidates. So I want to save my time and energy with this process. So I started to look out for a solution and I got to know about the best solution, which is Pabli Connect. And today I'm going to show you that how you can also save your time by using Pabli Connect to automate this process of onboarding candidates and how you can automatically generate appointment letters using Google Sheets and Google Docs. So here, what we are going to do is that we have to create a database in our Google Sheets where we have the data of all the selected candidates. And by using these details, we are automatically going to create appointment letters for which we have this template that I've created in my Google Docs account. So this is a template for my appointment letters and I'm going to use this template to create new appointment letters for all the candidates. So in this template, I have all the terms and conditions, salary pay of my candidate. So this is how my template look like. And I'm also going to share this template with you guys. So you can also use this template and you can modify this template according to you. And this will also save your time and energy. So here what we are going to do is we are going to use Pabli Connect to automatically generate appointment letters for all our candidates. So for that, what I have to do is I have to open a new tab and search for Pabli.com and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to generate appointment letters using Google Sheets and Google Docs. And now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So for that, I have to open this tab and I want to save this workflow in this particular folder of appointment letters. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheets here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new or updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I have to connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. And for that, I have to use this Babook URL, which is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. And for connecting these two accounts, I have to follow all this instruction. And first I'm going to copy this Babook URL. And now I'm going to take you back to my Google Sheet. And here we are using this spreadsheet, which is named as shortlisted candidates. We are in sheet one. And in this, I have all these columns. So here I have this last column of AC and this is my last data entry column, which is column AB. And in this, I have this candidate, which is going to get appointed in my company. So I have to create appointment letter for this particular candidate. So I have all these details of my candidate, like candidate name, date, email, mobile number. I have the candidate designation, which is senior developer. 
I have the department which is development. I have the worksheet which is from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Also, I have the joining date. I have the reporting manager which is dummy manager. I have the annual CTC of my candidate which is of 16 lakh. I have the tax deduction of 20% and these are all my salary details. So in this, I have the base pay. I have the home rental allowance, bonus amount, provident funds, gratuity and all other taxes details. And I have the sender name who is going to send this appointment letter to this particular candidate. And I have the sender designation and my candidate address details. So I have filled all the details of that candidate in this particular Google Sheet. Now what I need to do is I need to first connect this Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. For that, I have to go to extensions. And in extension, what we need to do is we need to have this particular extension of Pabli Connect Webhook. So if you don't have this particular extension, then what you have to do is you have to go to add-ons and you have to click on get add-ons. And here it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. And in this, you have to search for our extension, which is Pabli Connect Webhook. So you have to open this extension and you will see this extension like this. So you need to install this extension and after installing this extension, you have to close this. You have to go back to extensions. You have to go back to extensions. Now you have to go to your extension, which is our public connect webhook and you have to click on initial setup. And here we will see we have two options, webhook URL and trigger column. So what we have to do is we have to first give our webhook URL and in webhook URL, we are going to paste that webhook URL that we have copied from public connect. So I'm going to paste that here and now I have to give a trigger column. So the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. So in my spreadsheet, I have the trigger column, which is going to be column AB and column AB is my last data entry column. So whenever a data will be filled in that particular column, then whole row data will be sent to Pabli Connect. So my trigger column is going to be AB. So I'm going to type that and I'm going to click on send test. And here test data sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit and my setup is configured successfully. Now I'm going to close this. Now by sending that test data, what is going to happen is that automatically all these details of this candidate has been sent to Pabli Connect. Now before going back to Pabli Connect, what we have to do is we have to go back to extensions. I have to go back to Pabli Connect Webhook and in this we have to enable this option of send on event. So I'm going to click on this and why we have enabled this option. So after enabling this option, what is going to happen is that whenever we are going to add a new row with the data of a new candidate, then automatically that candidate details will be sent to Pabli Connect. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and here we can see we have received this response. So in this response, we have all these details of the candidate that we have shortlisted for the appointment. So we have the zip code of our candidate. We have the yearly CTC, which is of 16 lakh rupees. We have the worksheet, which is from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And this is my trigger column, which is column AB. We have the total deduction of somewhere around 4,4176 rupees. Tax deduction is of 20%. We have the tax amount of 320,000 and we have the sender name, which is Michael Karras and we have the standard designation, which is HR associate. We have the reporting manager, which is dummy manager and we have the PF. We have the professional tax. We have the other allowance and we have the net salary, which is going to be around 11 lakh rupees, 95,824 rupees. And this is the mobile number of my candidate. We have the joining date, which is from 4th of March, 2024. We have home rental allowance, which is of 3,20,000 yearly. We have the gratuity. We have the email of our candidate, which is new at the rate pablitudes.com. And we have the department, which is of development. We have the date. We have the candidate state, which is Madhya Pradesh. Candidate name is new candidate. And we also have the candidate designation, which is senior developer L3. And the candidate city is Bhopal. Candidate address is this. And we have the bonus amount of 66,000. And this is the base pay of 8 lakh rupees. So I have received all these details of the candidate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all these details and I'm going to use all these details for my variable, which I have created in my template in Google Docs. And I'm going to add all these details in place of that variables. And I'm going to create a new appointment letter by using that template of Google Docs. So for that, what we have to do is we have to set up our actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to search for my action application, which is going to be Google Docs. So I'm going to select Google Docs here. Now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create document from template will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Google Docs with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. And now I have to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here on allow and here my connection is successful. Now here we have all these details. Now what we have to do is we have to first select our template document. So for that, let me take you back to my template, which I have created in Google Docs account. So I'm going to take you there 
and this is my template for appointment letter and in this I have all these details and I have created all these variables. So in the place of these variables, I have to fill the details of the candidate that has going to be appointed. So here I have created all these variables and this template. So in my appointment letter, I have the details of my candidate salary and all the terms and conditions for my company. And in the last, I have this entire agreement. So I'm going to use this particular template and it is named as appointment letter template. So I'm going to map this in Pavli Connect. So let's go back to Pavli Connect. And for selecting my template document, what we have to do is we have to open this tab and in this tab, we will find all the templates that we have created in our Google Docs account. So I'm going to use this template of appointment letter template. So I have to select this and now I have to give my new documents name. So for giving the new documents name, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my candidate name and after my candidate name, I'm going to give the title of appointment letter. So I have received the candidate name from my Google Sheet response where I have the details of my candidate. So I'm going to use that detail and I'm going to map that detail here. So for that, what I have to do is I have to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open this response of Google Sheets and in this, I'm going to search for my candidate name. So this is my candidate name, which is new candidate. So I'm going to map this and I'm going to give a space and I'm going to give a title of appointment letter. So this is going to be my new documents name. So my name is going to be new candidate appointment letter. So whenever I'm going to add new detail of a candidate in my Google Sheet, then automatically I'm going to capture the details of that candidate and I'm going to use that candidate name to create a new appointment letter and that will be that document's name. Now what I have to do is I have to give my new documents location. So by new documents location, what this means is that I have to save this document in any particular location and that location should be in my Google Drive. So for the location, I have to take you back to my Google Drive. And in my Google Drive, I have this particular folder, which is of appointment letters. So I'm going to open this. So this is going to be my new documents location. So I'm going to use this folder and I'm going to save all the documents that I'm going to create for appointment letters. And I'm going to save all those documents in this particular folder. So I'm going to go back to Pavli Connect. And for selecting my documents location, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have in my Google Drive account. And I'm going to use this folder of appointment letters. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to map my current date. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets and I'm going to search for the date. So this is the date, which is of 13th of March. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I have to give my candidate name. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets and I'm going to search for the name. So this is my candidate name. So I'm going to map this. So my candidate name is new candidate. Now I have to map my candidate address. So for the address, I have to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets and I'm going to search for the address. So this is my candidate address, which is a two by five old street. So I'm going to map this. I will give a comma and I'm going to map the city of my candidate. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google sheet and I'm going to search for the city, which is Bhopal. So I'm going to map this again. I'm going to give a comma. I will give a space and I'm going to map the state. So this is the state, which is Madhya Pradesh. So this is going to be my candidate's address. Now I have to select the candidate designation. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google sheet and I'm going to search for the designation which is senior developer L3. Now, similarly like this, I'm going to fill all these details that are required for my candidates appointment letter creation. So I'm going to fill all these details. So here I have filled all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test to quick button. So here I have received this response. So this is a positive response and in the response I have this document ID. So this means that I have created a new document of appointment letter for this particular candidate and I have saved that document in my Google Drive. So to check this, I'm going to take you back to my Google Drive. And here in my Google Drive, we can see we are in this folder of appointment letters. And in this folder, we have saved this new document, which is named as new candidate appointment letter. So I'm going to open this document. And here we can see I have created this new appointment letter for this particular candidate of new candidate. And in this document, I have filled all the details of the candidate that I have in my Google sheet. And in this appointment letter, I have all the details and the terms and condition and the salary details of my candidate. So we have all these salary details in my Google sheet and I have automatically filled all those details here in my appointment letter that I've created for my candidate. So this appointment letter is for new candidate. This is the address of my candidate and this is the designation, which is senior developer L3. This is the name of my candidate, which is new candidate. We have the department, which is development. We have the joining date, which is March 4, 2024. And the reporting manager was dummy manager. 
we have the details of the leave we have the work schedule which is from monday to friday 10 am to 6 pm and we have all these other details of the company we have the salary details so here we can see that by using the details of the candidate that we have in my google sheet i have created this new document from the template that i've created in my google docs and by the template automatically i have created this new appointment letter for my candidate so i'm automatically creating this appointment letter for for the shortlisted candidates now we have to go back to pabli connect so i have created this particular document now what i have to do is i have to make this document shareable and after sh making that document shareable i have to get the pdf link of that document so that i can make that document secure so for that what i have to do is i have to set up one more action step and here i'm going to use google drive so i'm going to select google drive here and now i have to give an action event so i'm going to open this tab and share a file with anyone will be my action event so i'm going to select this and now i'm going to connect google drive with pabli connect so i'll click here on connect I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google and now I have to click on allow to give access to my account and my connection here is successful now I have to give my file id so for that what I have to do is I have to first click here on this map button and I have to clear this default response now what I have to do is I have to map the document id that I have received from creating a new document from Google Docs so I have received a document id from that response so I'm going to map that document id here so what is going to happen is that whenever I'm going to create a new document from Google Docs template, then automatically it's going to generate a new document ID. And by using that document ID, I'm going to make that file shareable. And after making that file shareable, I'm going to get a PDF link of that particular file. So here I have made this file ID dynamic. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to map that document ID. So I have to open this response of Google Docs. And here I have this document ID. So I'm going to map this. So I have mapped my file ID. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have made my file that I have in my Google Drive shareable. So I have this ID which says anyone with link. So this means that anyone that has the link of my document can access this document. And also in this response, I have this PDF link. With this link, what this means is that I have generated my document into a PDF file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this PDF file link and I'm going to save this PDF file into a new document in my Google Drive so that I can access the PDF file of my document of the appointment letter that I've created for my candidate. So for that, I have to set up my last action step. And here again, I'm going to use Google Drive. So I'm going to select Google Drive here and I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and upload a file will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Google Drive with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. So I have already built this connection between Google Drive and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to use this existing connection. So I'm going to click on save. Now here I have all these tabs. So first I have to give the URL link of my file. So I have received this file link from my Google Drive response. So I'm going to map that here. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Drive. And in this I have this PDF link. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to give the folder ID. So for the folder ID, I have to take you back to my Google Drive. And in this I have to go back to my Google Drive. And here I have this folder of appointment letters PDF files. So I'm going to open this. So in this particular folder, I'm going to save all the PDF files of the appointment letters that I'm going to generate. So I need the folder ID of this particular folder. So in my path URL, I have this folder ID. So this is going to be my folder ID. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste my folder ID here. Now I need the file name. So for the file name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the candidate name. And after candidate name, I'm going to give the title of appointment letter PDF. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets. And in this, I'm going to search for the name of my candidate. So this is my candidate name. So I'm going to map this. And now I'm going to give the title of appointment letter PDF. So this is going to be my new file name. So I have filled all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send as request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So in the response, I have the status of success. So this means that I have saved my appointment letters in a PDF format in my Google Drive. Now to check this, I will take you back to my Google Drive. And in my folder of appointment letters PDF files, we can see I have saved this new PDF of my document of my appointment letter that I have just generated for the candidate that I have the details in my Google Sheet. So here we can see that my connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs and Google Drive is working successfully. So that, that whenever I'm going to add a new details of a candidate in my Google Sheet, then automatically by using that candidate details, I'm going to generate a new document of appointment letter 
by using my Google Docs template and after generating that appointment letter for that candidate, I'm going to make that document shareable by using Google Drive. And after making that file shareable, I'm going to get the PDF link of that file. I'm going to save my appointment letter in PDF format in my Google Drive. Now to check this in real time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Google Sheet and I'm going to fill a new details of a new candidate in a new row. So for that, I have to fill my date. So my date will be same March 13, 2024. I'm going to give a candidate name, which is going to be demo user. I will give an email, which will be demo user at the rate pabditudes.com. And similarly, I'm going to fill all these details. So I'm going to give a random mobile number. I'm going to select the designation, which is going to be junior developer L1. I'm going to give the department, which is going to be development. Now the workshop will be of night shift, which is going to be from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. My joining date will be of March 20. Reporting manager will be test manager. I will give an annual CTC. I have to select the tax deduction, which is of 10%. And now I'm going to fill all the salary details. So I have filled all these details and I'm going to fill this detail of zip code in my last data entry column. So I'm going to click enter here. And here we can see I have filled all these details here. So I have the candidate name, which is demo user. I have this mobile number, email address, candidate designation of junior developer, department of development, worksheet of 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. Joining date of 20 March, 2024. I have the reporting manager, test manager. I have that yearly composition of 3 lakh rupees tax deduction and all the salary details. And I have the sender name, which is Jesse Matthew. I have the sender designation, which is HR manager. Also, I have the candidate's address detail. Here, I have filled all these details. Now, what we have to check is that whether we have used these details and we have created a new appointment letter by using all these details and we have saved that document of appointment letter in my Google Drive or not. So for that, I have to take you back to my Google Drive and in my Google Drive, we are in this folder of appointment letters, PDF files. And in this, we can see that I have automatically have saved a new document, which is named as demo user appointment letters, PDF. So demo user was the name of my candidate that I have added as a detail in my Google sheet. I'm going to open this PDF document. And here we can see I have created this letter of appointment for this particular candidate, which is demo user. I have the address, which is new street in the Madhya Pradesh. I have the designation of junior developer. I have the name of candidate, which is demo user. I have the department, which is development. Joining date is March 20, 2024. Reporting manager is test manager. And I also have all these details. And here I have filled all these details of salary. And in the last, I have the sender name, which is Jesse Matthew. I have the sender designation, which is HR manager and my company name. So here we can see that I have automatically have created this new appointment letter of the candidate that I have just filled the details in my Google sheet. So this was the shortlisted candidate and I have added these details in my Google sheet. And after adding those details, automatically a new appointment letter has been created and I have saved that appointment letters PDF file in my Google Drive. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here my connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs and Google Drive is working successfully. Now that whenever a new details of a shortlisted candidate will be added in my Google Sheet, then automatically by using those details, a new document will be created by using the template that I've created in my Google Docs. And after creating that appointment letter, I'm automatically going to make that file shareable by using Google Drive. And by making that file shareable, I'm going to generate a new PDF file of that document. And I'm going to save that PDF file of that document or the appointment letter in my Google Drive. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Google Docs and my action event was create document from template. Then I have set up my last action steps and in this I have used Google Drive and my first action event was share a file with anyone and after that I have used upload a file. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. Also, I'm going to put the link of my workflow and my template that I have created in Google Docs in the description. So you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.